In this video, I'm going to be talking about the different maps that we have in Flourish. Um, and Flourish really has a bunch of different maps that um, you can use. And they're all sort of um, slightly different and do different things and are good at visualizing different, visualizing, uh, sorry, different types of data. So I'm going to go through them so that you have a better idea the next time you want to go and make a map of something, which one um, you should choose. So I'm starting here on the template chooser page because uh, this is sort of where you choose which map you would be using. Um, so the first one here is our projection map, which is um, sort of your basic point and region, um, shaded regions map. So we have a bunch of different starting points here that um, you can use, like, you know, um, Europe, um, U.S. counties, U.S. congressional districts, U.S. states, um, sort of different U.K. ones as well. Um, but you can also upload your own data to this map, um, which we'll talk about it in a different sort of more specific to the projection map video. Um, but you can basically make a map of any sort of area um, in the world by uploading your own data here. But this is definitely just your basic map. So if I go in here, you'll see um, this is just a, a shaded map of U.S. congressional districts, I believe. Uh, or counties, counties, sorry. And then you can also see there are some points on the map as well. Um, so you can mix and match um, there with those. Um, so if we go back here, um, the other sort of um, uh, map we have, which is not like um, the 3D maps, which I'll talk about in a second, are these, this is this connections globe. Um, so if I show this to you now, um, this is really good for visualizing um, sort of um, connections between two different parts of the world. Um, and it's 3D and it's cool. It's sort of one of the original classic Flourish templates, which are very sort of visually striking um, when someone sees them on a web page. You can kind of play around with it here. It's pretty cool. Um, now go back again. So after those two, we have a series of maps which are all kind of based on the same um, map tiles. Um, and they all do slightly different things, but I'm just going to show you the marker map right now. But just know that the marker map is here, which is good for sort of, um, um, you can use it as sort of like a locator map, or you can use it with small amounts of data up to a couple thousand rows. Um, but the other maps that we have that are sort of like these and are built on the same um, tiles and are also 3D and sort of zoomable and um, uh, you can kind of turn around in them and stuff, which I'll show you in a second, is um, this arc map, which is kind of like a connections globe, but it's flat. Um, and then this point map, which is really good for displaying lots of different, um, lot, like large numbers of, of rows. Um, there's also sort of an optional time component as well. And then this 3D region map, which um, lets you kind of do the same sort of chloroplast the region shading that you do on a normal map, but you can use elevation um, to visualize that as well. So I'm just going to go in here um, just to show you what these look like. So this is the marker map. Um, so there are these really awesome 3D map tiles um, and you can kind of zoom in and um, look around um, the map. You can also kind of pan at different angles which is really awesome. And then there's also this optional um, inset map here in the corner, which you can add geometry for. Um, but yeah, these are really powerful in stories. And I will be doing um, a video, uh, another video later about um, how to sort of combine stories and maps um, to make the best of your maps. 